hey y'all how y'all doing hope you guys are doing great you guys it is like a rainy day and i am so tired <laughs> i did work last night and i didn't get home till around midnight and y'all i've been sleeping all day it is actually like two o'clock and i wanted to run some errands um before it gets dark okay sorry about that it was a little motorcycle quite loud <laughs> but um i wanted to run some errands real quick and i just y'all i couldn't get out the bed i was so tired but anyway, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So, I am in this little food group that's, you know, for my city. And they just talk about all different kind of restaurants. Y'all, it is so many that I have never, ever heard of before. And so, I put up a post in the group about some soup. Because I've been wanting some soup today. I actually wanted some split pea soup. Y'all, first of all, I need to say reading is fundamental. Okay? Because... I put up a post about split pea soup. This lady, she was telling me about this restaurant that's literally right down the street from my house. And she said split pea soup is on Saturday. Most places have it on Wednesday. So I'm thinking it's on Wednesday. Girl, I was half asleep. Why did I come all the way to this restaurant that don't have it today? They have it on Saturday. So I don't know what kind of soup they got today. But we're going to do my solo little lunch date and go to this restaurant. Because I'm already here. And most of these places, they close up at 3 o'clock. It's 2 right now. So I only have an hour. So it is what it is. <laughs> I guess I have to wait till next Wednesday to get my split, my split pea soup. I know a lot of people don't like split pea soup, but I love it. My friends make fun of me. It's like, it was so gross. Um, my friends, I just kind of realized they don't like stuff that's green. Okay? Because they don't like pistachio salad. That's green. <laughs> they don't like split pea soup. That's green. They don't like guacamole. It's green. I love green stuff. So, anyway, enough to check. Come on, we're going to go to this little restaurant, this little cafe. I've never been here before. Um, it looks cute. How about y'all? I've been in this area, like, for so long. And, wow, the sun is coming out. Yay. And my friend, she was like, girl, it's next to the pizza place you always go to. And I'm like, why have I never noticed it before? So, anyway, yeah. So it's like Gina's, I don't even know the name of this restaurant, Gina's Teardrop Cafe. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Okay, guys, first of all, do me a huge favor. Stop what you're doing. Get this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about doing a solo date, okay? And then I will talk to you guys in the restaurant. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I um, came to have lunch. I'm doing this little lunch solo thing, a little regular right now, I guess. <laughs> but um, I came to get some soup. I just had a taste for some soup. <laughs> I've been on like the soup kick lately. I don't know why, but I have. And yeah, uh, I just had some from the potato and they added some bacon and cheese to it. And girl, it's so good. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm getting ready to head out, probably run to the store. And then I'm gonna have to, um, I don't know what else I'm doing today. I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> today is just one of those chill, relaxed, unproductive days. It was raining this morning, so I kind of slipped in. And yeah, so I'm 
going to and doing this little solo thing. <laughs> Trying out some of the restaurants in our area. We have so many and I haven't even heard of half of them. Because we always got the same ones all the time. So actually this one is right down the street from my house. So it's like, okay, let me check it out. And it's really cute. It's a little cute little cafe. And um, yeah, I think I'll be coming back here regularly because the soup is really good. I didn't get any sandwiches or anything. I just wanted soup today. That's what we're doing, and um, I'm gonna head out to the store, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just wanted to say too, like when you go solo, I'm taking the time to reflect on some things, um, just thinking about stuff that I'm going through, um, how can I fix it? Um, just thinking about my life, just meditating, you know, so, and I'm also on my phone, so on YouTube, and my best friend, she's texting me right now, of course, <laughs> and my other friend is texting me as well on Messenger, Facebook, so, you know, it's always a lot of stuff you can do, you can also listen to music, um, bring your iPods, and yeah. They have a TV on actually that has a game show on. Actually, Family Feud. <laughs> so, you can watch TV in some restaurants. So, yeah. But I'm getting ready to get my day going. I just wanted to pop in because I'm doing a little solo lunch date again. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a great day. Okay, guys. So, I am back from Gina's Teardrop Cafe. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. The restaurant was super cute. I love the little southern charm that it has. Um, I don't know why I never seen that place before. I think I, I was thinking about it while I was inside the restaurant. I think the reason why I have never seen it because it's closed when I come by because they close at three o'clock. And usually when I order pizza from the place next door, it's usually late at night, it's like five or six o'clock at night. So I think that's probably why. And I've never seen cars there. So I never even thought of it. But yeah, I will be back. Funny thing is, I'm not a big fan of cream of potato soup. It's all right. But theirs was really, really good. And she did homemade bacon on top. I mean, not homemade, but real bacon and cheese. And it was really, really good. And um, the dinner rolls were nice, too. Because she asked me if I wanted crackers or rolls. I'm like, let me try your rolls. It was really, really nice. I am full. So... I am happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a cute little spot. And I think I'm going to start trying out a lot of different restaurants around here. Thanks to this little food group that I'm in. I and mean, it's not really little. I guess they got like 30,000 members in the group. <laughs> um, but like I said, we go out to eat a lot. You guys know. You guys watch my videos. Y'all, and right now, before we finish, stop what you're doing. Give this video a thumbs up, okay? Help me out. Help the girl. Help, help your girl out, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, okay? So, anyway, as I was saying, um, he has, like, this really cute group. And they just, I, we go out to eat. I have been going out to eat my whole entire life ever since I was a little girl. I can remember when I was five years old, my favorite restaurant was Red Lobster, okay? I told you I'm bougie. On a little soda pop budget. <laughs> but i mean that's just how it, and that's how i was uh we my family always would go out to eat my mom cooked a lot but on sundays some sundays she would cook some sundays we would go out to eat this is what we did and then like through the weekdays she worked a lot like me and you know sometimes you just don't be feeling like cooking you know sometimes i wish i was a stay-at-home mom so i can cook but well, then, when i was yeah <laughs> i still was going out to eat too so anyway um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, but you know, going solo on a date is not not bad at all. It does take some time to get used to. I know some people are like, oh, I do it all the time, but then there's some people who's really, really nervous to do this, and you got to build that confidence level up to do it. And I was like, uh, do I want to do it right now? But my husband and my son, they work midnights and they were sleep. They actually went to go get breakfast on their way home, coming home from work didn't pick me up anything to eat so they were knocked out snoring when i left because <laughs> i know some people probably wonder like if you have a husband why don't you go out with him we do go out check out some of my videos actually we just went out for our anniversary at the um in oak brook yeah that was a cute little restaurant you guys check that video out okay 
at RH. Check that video out. It's super cute. So, we do go out. But sometimes I just do my own thing. They do their thing, you know. My son, he get in where he can fit in, where he going to eat. He going to get in, okay? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to try to encourage you guys because I know a lot of people have been coming to me since my last video saying they're nervous. They really want to do this. Y'all, it's starting to rain really hard now. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, try it. Just step out and try it. It is nerve-wracking the first time. I was trying to give you guys some tips. It was so loud in there. So I hope you guys can hear. It wasn't even that many people in there, but it was loud. Like, they was putting up some dishes or something it was super loud so i hope you guys can hear me plus it was people sitting in a booth behind me and in front so i didn't want to talk too loud so i was like i'll just wait till i get to the car so i can just talk to you guys more in depth but just do it go out to eat by yourself i know some people are like oh i've been doing it for years it's no big deal like my daughter she always go oh. <laughs> i think it's so funny but yeah, just do it if you haven't done it before. And if you have done it before, kudos. A lot of older people have never done it. I know my one friend, she told me her and her husband, they have never gone out alone. They always have another couple with them. So some people just always like to have somebody tag along. Everybody's different, you know? And you would never thought that. I never thought. When she told me that, I was shocked. I was like, you mean you and your husband, you never celebrated like your anniversary and stuff by yourself? She said, no. When is our anniversary? My kids come with us or whatever. I was like, are you serious? Yeah. And she's like 81 years old now. So her husband passed away a few years back. But yeah. So everybody's different. So, you know, I just want to encourage you guys to maybe do this. And I might even start making this like a little series, a little mini series for me. Because it took a lot for me to make up my mind that I wanted to go to a restaurant by myself. I mean, it might not be a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to me. And I'm so glad that I did. I hope you guys do it too. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. If you've been to Gina's, let me know. If you have a favorite Southern Charm restaurant that you like, let me know um even if you're not from illinois let me know if you like to do solo dates if you ever thought about doing it or um just trying out new little restaurants on your own um just let me know okay and until then i will see you guys on the next video i love you guys thank you guys so very much for your love and support i do appreciate it all right so you guys have a great day be blessed love you bye